because you are in my class, but if you are watching this for fun, why? Anyway, the first thing you'll need is a heated area. A fire, a grill, or a gas burning stove would work best. You'll also need ceramic or metal containers, as well as a chunk of raw bismuth. Also, get some marshmallows in case someone calls the fire department. Yes, this happened to me once. This is optional, but suggested. The slower the bismuth cools, the bigger the crystals will be. So we're making a warm bed for it to cool in. After you put the sand in a container, heat up your bricks and sand. After a while, take your bricks and sand out of the fire. Place two cinder blocks together and place three bricks in a triangular shape then fill it with sand. Next, take your chunk of raw bismuth and put it in a metal or ceramic container. Put your bismuth and another container in the fire. Here is the finished bed. Ooh, that melted bismuth is pretty hot. Get it? No, I'm not funny. Okay, bye, I'm emo. Right before you pour the bismuth, there should be a filmy layer of stuff at the top. You're going to want to take that out with a metal spoon. All right, now time to pour. There might be some cool tiny crystals at the bottom of the container, and then take you bismuth out once it's done cooling and your D-O-N-R. If you're not in my class then ha 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 you don't get to see the bismuth crystals I know I'm so nice.